Certainly one of the most costly diseases that we have in the beef cattle industry is called neonatal calf diarrhea and it's what ranchers call calf scours. Calf scours is one of the reasons why I really like fall calving here in Oklahoma because at this time of the year with the hot sun beating down and dry pastures then we have a less chance of a buildup of the pathogens that cause calf scours or calf diarrhea. Nonetheless, in a fall calving season, we still need to be vigilant and watch for those situations where there could be some incidents of calf diarrhea showing up in our herd that could uh, turn into a full-blown epidemic if we don't take care of it. There are some management procedures that I think can really be helpful to reduce the risk of calf diarrhea showing up in your herd. Number one is take good care of the replacement heifers while they're pregnant because it's those calves from those two-year-olds that are most likely to get calf diarrhea. And that's because, of course, we have a higher incidence of calving difficulty that causes some stress and strain on that calf. The first calf heifer gives less first milk and therefore has less colostrum and their calves are more prone then to getting those disease organisms taking over and causing the disease entity. So if we take good care of those first calf heifers, calve them ahead of the cow herd so that their calves aren't exposed to pathogens that were coming from older calves, and those heifers are in good body condition so that they're giving the maximum amount of first milk or colostrum that gets that calf off to the best possible start. Also, we want to think about during the calving season removing those pears from our calving pen as soon as they're mothered up and ready to move on to another pasture because that way then the older calves that possibly are shedding some of these pathogens won't be exposing that newborn that comes along during the calving season. By separating out the older calves then we can reduce that transition of calf scour pathogens from one to the next. Then when you're treating with uh, those kinds of treatments that your, your veterinarian has recommended and you're working with a few calves that do have calf diarrhea, during the chore time, make sure that's the last thing that you do during that particular chore procedure. In other words, when you're taking care of that sick calf, we want to be able to then go directly to the house, take off the coveralls, clean them, clean our boots, clean our gloves, so that we're not taking those pathogens ourselves onto other calves that we might be working with uh, during the, the calving season. Just a few of these procedures, I can't think, can really reduce the risk of having an outbreak of calf diarrhea in your herd. And certainly, if, if you've run across some situations with uh, some calves that look like they have got calf diarrhea, contact your local veterinarian. Get a chance to find out what the pathogen is so the proper treatment can be put in place to give that calf and you the best chance of a positive outcome. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.